need a little food, and he we want to join the party. We ordered some calamari. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and the egg rolls. Come on, Miss Laura. So this is real life. Babies yes. come to dinner, and we're fine with that, right? You are teasing. And he comes with us. And he's, <laughs> you're, yeah. you're flirting with Luke yeah. Keekley's lady now. You yeah. can't deny yeah. do that, KJ. <laughs> okay. Luke, you better watch that. Right, he's a big guy, See KJ. Those eyes? <laughs> KJ's like, mm. yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's something um, that always surprises me, especially like, like with kids' camps and stuff, like how much little kids look up to yes. them. Like yes. even one of my favorite fan moments for me, I think, is just like sometimes driving down the street and somebody will realize Luke is next to them. And they'll just like freak out. When he like turns around and waves and like you see like a little kid just freak Aww. out and get so excited. That's yeah, always that's, fun. That's too. always sweet. And they know us too, which is cool. They see mm -hmm. us and they're like, wait, you, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> So Shannon, like, um, it's so funny. Like I always joke and tell you, like you and Luke have been together since y'all were two. Well, how old were you really when, if you don't mind sharing? Oh yeah. Um, so I met Luke when I was in fourth grade. Shut up. I <laughs> 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 yeah. He was in fifth grade. He played Pee Wee football with my brother. And our dads reconnected. They actually went to high school together. Wow. And were involved in wrestling from St. X at, in, at home. And um, they just both loved fishing. So we always went on fishing trips and everything. Luke was always at our house. Luke and his brother John were always over. Like We just all, like we grew up that, together. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I always do joke with her and say two, but fourth grade is really like two. Like, <laughs> we, we, didn't date, we didn't date until still, later. Still, <laughs> that's still like you knew him and y'all hung out. Y'all might as well have been dating. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's super cute. Yeah, well, water balloon fights and you know all of that, all of the, those phases. So, <laughs> but imagine like when y'all grow old together, you'll be able to tell those stories. Like, mm -hmm. remember when we were in fifth grade? Like, right. yeah. Ugh, all the pranks and, and stuff. And all the times you wanted to smack him, because all the times I want to smack Thomas <laughs> in 13 years, I can only imagine how many times you. <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, we touched on it a little bit, just everybody thinks that I'm just Thomas Davis's wife. They don't understand that I have probably two or three jobs and take care of the kids and you know just do all this other stuff outside of being attached to Thomas Davis. So I know me personally, I used to get mad and I used to say, oh my gosh, I gotta make sure that people know me as just Kelly, not just Thomas Davis's wife. And I really have to do that because people already know because I talk so much. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but I know sometimes that's tough, like with being somebody just labeling you as somebody's girlfriend, you know, or somebody's wife, how do you, cope with that and then just taking the time out to take care of yourself making sure that you have time to even take a shower oh I know don't laugh Natalie I already know it's tough dry shampoo a lot of yeah. <laughs> no I struggled with that a lot because no I went from corporate finance and traveling and having like my own career and you know when I got pregnant like you know last season I was pregnant so I w it was more hypothetical like what's it gonna be like next year and I think for me even I, I had a lot of anxiety about what am I gonna do when I'm just a mom or, yeah you know and I think especially this season with Jonathan like being able to you know especially with and I think like so much of that we've learned from you guys and like seeing what you've done charity wise like he's always been just to think into the future of when he doesn't have football like to have something that is another outlet for him and to transition into you know what life is going to be like after football and so that's right. been really neat being able to kind of use his platform in a way of right. it's like there are kids that for them it's really impactful I think being able to to do that for them and people that's one thing don't about see our that. guys yeah that people people don't know like our guys are very supportive if they don't have their own foundation or cause then they're at each other's events like oh, yeah. I don't think Luke's missed but probably one or two of our events like you oh, guys yeah. are always there like Kurt and Laura are always doing stuff Jay Stewart and Nelly always so, like they're always doing all this stuff and people don't see that they're beyond NFL and beyond them playing football we have this other stuff that we help them do and we help other people do their charity events. What about what about you, Kelly? What are you gonna do after football is over? Oh my gosh. I think it's tough to think about retirement and think about when it happens, but I do know that Thomas and I, ever since his injuries, we've kind of started preparing. And not to say, oh, it would happen right after first, second, or third injury or whatever, but we've been preparing every single year and we know that when the time comes, we'll be ready for it. And I think that's really important for a lot of girlfriends and wives to realize that life will be different. 
and um, just to start preparing early for it. So I don't know if you guys have kind of talked about life after football with your significant others, but I, I do think it's important that you talk about it early so it's not a shock, it's not a surprise. Your guy's gonna be around you more often, which is different because <laughs> you're used to him being gone a lot. Um, but I think, I think we'll be okay. So I just wanna thank y'all so much for coming and joining me on Candidly Kelly. I know it's a lot, we're in the middle of the week, so I really appreciate y'all coming out here and- Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.